Hi, I'm Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Rhino Rack Batwing Awning. Here we have it installed onto this vehicle that we've previously outfitted with a Rhino Rack Vortex roof rack system. So on the back side, you can see the mounting hardware, which is included with the Batwing Awning. It is a very strong steel welded right angle bracket that is compatible both with this Vortex top track as well as Rhino Rack's Pioneer platform systems. That connects to the back side of the extruded aluminum construction of this awning. So it allows for various crossbar spacings along the length of this awning, as well as allows the awning to be positioned fore and aft uh, to best suit the application. So here on the outside, we have a extremely durable, weather resistant PVC outer cover. We'll go ahead and remove the cover and deploy the awning. To do so, I've released the Velcro. And here we have a zipper. It's a heavy duty zipper that runs the length of the underside. Um, underneath the, the back part of the outer cover, you have in another pocket that contains a pouch with all of the guy ropes and ground stakes. And so that's housed inside the awning so that it's conveniently positioned there and is able to do so since the majority of the bulk of the awning is towards the front. So we'll show you that in just a moment. So let me go ahead and remove that. While I'm here, I'll also release one of the uh, Velcro straps. Continue back. There's another Velcro strap here. And then a final Velcro strap here. That allows me to go ahead and release the awning material. You can see how it's folded up to where it distributes that bulk over the front half of the awning. So this is a very durable poly cotton ripstop nylon with a coating that provides excellent waterproofing. So we'll release the, the awning supports from a magnetic housing at the front and I can just walk around to fan out the the Batwing awning. On the back side, we have a cleat that is included that we've attached to the underside of the Vortex load bar. We will use a strap that's attached to the awning to hook into this cleat. This will allow us to tension and pull the awning taut before I get it too tight, I want to release this first leg and then go ahead and continue on to get it good and snug. So here we have the leg, which uses a simple twist and lock height adjustment. We'll continue around. Now, depending on the wind conditions, um, in certain, certain low wind conditions, this may be all that's necessary to begin using your awning. However, there is a full assortment of the guy ropes and stakes, and I will go ahead and demonstrate one of these. So here you can see you have the high visibility guy ropes, and there is many stakes to make sure that you can secure it safely to the ground. There is a unique method here that's provided which predetermines the angle of the stakes so that you have a very secure connection to the ground. Okay, so that gives you a general understanding of how the tent can be secured. Now we'll go ahead and move to stowing the tent back into place. To do so, everything's done in reverse. So this was the last pole that we, that we deployed, so it'll be the first pole that we stow. You just bring it up and snap it into a, a closure. And then same thing here. Still using that twist and lock function when we stow it.
Okay, so now we just go ahead and swing it back over. And here you can see there's the magnetic retainers. I wanna first, as I look back here, make sure all these connections are out of our way. And then I'll bring the bottom one into place. It has a magnetic holder there. And then we continue on down. And they all connect into place there. Next, we want to refold this material in a similar way that we found it so that it distributes the bulk in a broad area. And then roll that into place. And here we have our Velcro strap to secure it. And go ahead and start bringing this down. Before I close it up all the way, I'll go ahead and put all my guy ropes back in the pouch. Get my last closure in place. So we've taken this Rhino Rack Batwing awning from stowed to deployed and stowed again all very quickly as you can see. So an excellent addition to a camping setup.